Okay, thank you. Thank you, Axel and David, for the invitation once again. And I once again drew the short, short straw uh, debating against David in this, in this, in this topic. Apologies, That's you know? true. Yeah, so. <laughs> um, so, but I will, I will, I'm going to talk about the same studies. I'm going to fact check Dr. Ilson a little bit on them, because certainly he's very convincing when he, when he shows his perspective on things, but there are other perspectives. Um, we're going to talk about the same two studies, the artist and critics trial. Um, now, going back even further, local, local tumor recurrence is a major problem in gastric cancer, especially with less than a D2 dissection. The original second look laparotomy series from Mayo showed an 80% local tumor failure rate with basically D0 type resections. So this is something that um, is a problem with inadequate surgery. Um, the intergroup 116 trial that Dr. Ilson talked about is, is an older trial, but it's still relevant because you're, you're living in a fantasy world if you think that your patients are getting a D2 dissection. Probably only 10% of you um, of your patient, 10% of you in this room work with surgeons that do D2 dissections. So this was, this was a study that did improve survival, 10% absolute, but relative survival, you can see for yourself here, was, was a major benefit. 10% absolute, but 50% improvement. So um, long-term survival um, uh, of 10% versus 20% uh, is, is a major benefit with the use of post-operative radiation. There were some toxicity issues, but the compliance was generally very good, which we'll get back to. So it was recommended that, that, that a D2 dissection gets performed, but obviously the surgeons did not put patients on the trial, the medical oncologists did. So the, when they looked back to see what, what uh, surgeries were performed, only 10% got D, D2 dissections. This is pattern of care information. I don't think this has changed. We don't have information, but I don't think this has changed since the time of this study. Most surgeons are not trained to do extensive nodal dissections, and radiation does make up for poor quality surgery. Just I agree with David on that point. So in conclusion of that study, uh, adjuvant chemo radiation improves overall survival and disease through survival. This is a legitimate standard of care, and I would submit that most of, most of the patients here are not getting um, a DT dissection in the United States of America, which really disqualifies all the, all the data that he showed about DT dissection. I mean, it's nice to see that you know, expert surgeons that do a thousand uh, gastric cancer surgeries in Japan can achieve those results, but that, that doesn't happen here. Only one center in the United States of America would even qualify to put patients on those trials, and that's Memorial Sloan Kettering, based on the volume. Tox toxicity has been acceptable, but significant on, the, on that trial. Adjuvant chemotherapy, as David mentioned, has been a challenge in, these, in, these, uh, in the older era with, with uh, less than a D2 dissection, with very modest improvements in survival, mainly due to compliance in the postoperative setting, uh, including the MAGIC trial. So the, the preoperative component of chemotherapy was, was easy to deliver, but the postoperative uh, component was very difficult. Now, when we, when we want to, let's focus on the artists and the critics trial, just as David has. These are the, these are the most relevant uh, studies. Uh, the artist trial was a randomized trial of um, uh, cisplatin and zolota versus uh, radiation interdigitated between cis cisplatin and zolota conducted in, in Korea, where they, where they have high volume surgeons, high volume medical oncologists, high volume uh, radiation oncologists. So everyone does a good job there. Um, one thing, uh, when they looked at the pattern of failure in this updated study 20, in 2015, the, the remnant recurrence rate was very low and not affected by radiation. But when they looked at the uh, regional recurrence, nodal recurrence rate, there was a significant benefit, uh, 11 versus 2%. So the value of radiation is to, re in this study, even, even with D2 dissection, was to reduce the recurrence of those patients who uh, uh, did not, uh, did, did not uh, get the, the regional lymph nodes removed and a D2 dissection. So uh, in this case, um, the, uh, the, the reduction was a five-fold reduction from 11 to 2 percent. That's a significant uh, reduction because these patients uh, don't get salvaged. Now, this is one of the, it, the fact checks I wanted to point to um, that Dr. Ilson pointed to was that 4% improvement survival in node positive, I think he's pointing to this part of the curve, but if you point to this part of the curve, it's obviously more like 20%. And raise your hand if you would rather be on this curve um, as opposed to this curve. 
So there is a suggestion of a significant clinically relevant improvement in disease-free survival in the node-positive patients with long-term follow-up. It's not 4%. It's more like about 15% absolute improvement in survival with D2 dissection. And as David mentioned, intestinal subtype, also very strong indication of an improvement in outcome with, in overall, uh, with the use of radiation. Um, and also patients that had a high lymph node ratio, so anything more than one lymph node out of 12 um, was a very strong and statistically significant benefit. So multiple nodes appeared to benefit even greater than the patients who had one node. So the CRITICS trial, again, we all thought, had high hopes that this would be a good, a good um, compromise between the MAGIC and the McDonald approaches. Um, and as David showed you, patients were randomized after surgery and after, pre after preoperative chemotherapy and surgery, and they were either randomized to receive chemoradiation or ECF. Um, there, the, the survival was equivalent, um, the surgical procedures, which again, they were randomized after that, but they were, they were both uh, uh, very uh, high quality surgery. Um, the um, only 60% of patients started post-operative treatment, and only 50% of them completed it. So how, how does this study even answer the question? I, when, I, when I treat patients in the post-operative setting, I can guarantee you that more like 90 to almost 100% of patients finish treatment. So I'm really not sure why they dropped out, but I, but I think that really undermines the question. If only 50% of the patients got the therapy that, that they were randomized to. So um, radiation does make up for the shortcomings of surgery, especially in D0, D1, D1 resection based on the McDonald's study. Most in the U.S., we don't know how many, but most, probably up to 90% are getting these uh, more limited dissections. Um, with T2 resection, it appears, even with the best quality surgery, and this is the same thing as in the Dutch trial in rectal cancer, is that the node-positive patients benefited more in terms of overall survival, that subgroup, uh, with uh, the addition of radiation to high-quality surgery. So we will look forward to the, to the follow-on ARDIS-2 study, study, but I think that um, until that comes out, I mean, you have to have a balanced discussion with your patients that these, pa if there is a node positive, especially more than one node positive, that radiation has a benefit to offer in them. And the, uh, the CRITICS trial, um, you know, ECF was toxic, the post-op human radiation was toxic, so I'm not sure what we can learn from that, but, um, except that, you know, like David said, we want to improve outcomes even more, so maybe we should be thinking about more, being more selective even with PET scanning and so forth, but moving the, even the chemoradiation to the preoperative setting if we can identify those patients most likely to benefit, those with imaging indicating uh, positive lymph nodes. So this picture was taken in the Long Island Sound at the North Fork of Long Island and uh, in, from my boat. And when you're debating David Olson, just take any port in the storm, you know, and uh, find a subset benefit and, and just hope you survive. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs>